Lightmatica is an incredibly useful Minecraft mod, allowing you to generate 3D blueprints in your Minecraft world, as well as use blueprints that others have made to assist you with building. Whether that be complex farms or a build you made in creative or want to replicate in survival. And in this video, I'm going to teach you how to use it. Some people who are making the most out of Lightmatica are my patrons. On my Patreon, I have download links to schematics of all the farms I have tutorials for. And if you join my Patreon using the link in this video's description, you can make the most of this awesome mod too. This is the second part to my Lightmatica. Lightmatica series, so if you want to know how to download and install Lightmatica into your Minecraft, check out my last video, it'll be in the iCards and also linked in the video's description. So to get started with the mod, everything that you're going to need is a stick. This is all you need, it's just a normal regular stick and when you hold the stick, as you can see, a little menu appears in the bottom left and you can scroll through this by holding control and then scrolling on your mouse and this will take you to the different modes within the Lightmatica. Matica menu. This video is going to be covering the three main ones that you want to use. This is going to be area selection, schematic placement, and then pasting the schematic into the world. Of course, if you're only here for the paste schematic version, for instance, if you're using one of my farms on my Patreon, then I have timestamps for the video and you can skip along to when we're going to be using the paste schematic. But for everyone else who's starting with the basics, let's use the area selection. So for area selection, we're going to go onto mode one, and when holding the Stick, you want to left click and right click in the two corners of the area you're selecting. So I have built this cherry house and we have now selected by left clicking up there and right clicking down there. I actually forgot you can do it from quite a distance, you don't actually have to do it from right up close. <laughs> but now we have the area selected, how do you save this as a Lightmatica schematic? And the way you do that is by pressing M. This brings up the Lightmatica menu and to save this schematic you want to click on the area editor button. This then brings up the area editor menu and you can actually change the coordinates by left clicking and right clicking on these buttons. As you can see I'm changing the area that we selected. I can bring it up, I can bring it down, but we're going to keep it exactly the same and we want to click the save schematic button. This will then bring up this page with all of our previously saved schematics, but the only thing we need to worry about is naming it. So you can't use any fancy characters You can and you can't use spaces, so we're going to call this cherry underscore house because you can't use a space, so we're going to call it cherry underscore house. And then we could click save schematic right away, but there's also another button down here which is ignore entities. If we're building a mob farm or something that requires entities to be shown, then we could have this unticked to make sure they stay there, but because this is a house and we don't need to worry about it having entities inside, then we can click the ignore entities button. And then when hovering over the save schematic button, as you can see, it says hold shift to overwrite an existing file. That basically means if you have a file called cherry underscore house already here, if you hold shift and then click save schematic, it will overwrite that old file. That'll be useful if you're updating a build, but we're not gonna be doing that, so we just need to click save schematic. As you can see, it has now appeared here, and we have saved our cherry house schematic. You can also find that by clicking on M again and then clicking on the load schematics button. This will bring up your load schematics folder and it will show you all the schematics that you actually have in the schematics folder. This leads us on to pasting schematics into the world and this requires us to access the schematics file. To find the Minecraft schematics file, go onto your home screen and click on your Windows icon or the search icon and type in percent app data percent. Then open that file and this will bring up the app data roaming files and then you can click on .minecraft. Once you've run Lightmatica, you will have a new file that appears called schematics. And if you double click to go inside here, these are all of your schematic files that can be accessed within the game. Of course, we just generated this cherry house file and you can see all of the other files that I have generated in the past up here too. If you download a schematic from online, this is the file that you want to put that schematic into. Let's go and paste a schematic into a new world now to show you how it's done. So we are now in a new super flat world and we want to start pasting schematics into this world. The way that you do that is by pressing M, going onto the load schematics button and then selecting the schematic you want to place. Of course, we are going to be using the cherry house schematic that we just made. And if you click on that and then click load schematic down in the bottom left, as you can see, our cherry house will now be placed in. Unfortunately, you can see that it's flying in the air. And now you guys may be wondering, 
how do I put it into the right place? And the way you do that is by holding the stick, holding control and scrolling to schematic placement. Once you've done that, you can now move the house around and the way that you move the house around is by holding Alt and then scrolling. There's a lot of scrolling involved. But when you have schematic placement selected, hold Alt and scroll. And the direction that you're looking is the way that it will move. So I'm looking in this direction, I'm scrolling forward, it moves forward, scrolling backwards, it moves backwards. And this works in all directions as well as up and down, which is a bit of a weird one because you have to look down so it's hard to see. But as you can see, I have now scrolled downwards and we have the area in the right location. But let's say that it's in the wrong orientation, you want it facing that direction. That obviously is not the right orientation at the moment. So you want to hold M and P together or holding down M and then pressing P and this menu will come up and you can press this configure button down here. You can then use this menu to rotate the schematic that you've pasted. As you can see, it's now rotating. It'll be rotating around the central point that we copied it in, but you can rotate it like so. Let's say that we want it facing that direction so we can come around the front and the entrance will be here <laughs> and there we go you can also mirror it so if you want it facing the opposite direction completely mirrored in one of the axes you can do that as well but at the moment it is just a schematic it's not actually in the physical world and there are two different ways that you're going to get this into the physical world you're either going to paste it in from creative or you're going to build it in survival now you can see it but you don't actually know what blocks are being used to build it and the way that you see which blocks are being used to build this whole thing is press M and L and that will bring up the material list. When you're going to build this you can then place the blocks in the right location and as you can see they fill in correctly but if you place a block in the right location but the wrong orientation then it will show like so as you can see it's the right block but it's in the wrong orientation we don't want that and then if you're playing in creative mode and want to paste it in all you have to do now is go into M configuration menu, press on hotkeys, and then go to your search bar and press EXE. This will then bring up execute operation. And what you want to do here is to add a series of buttons or keys that you press to then paste this into the world. The buttons that I use are M and O, so I'll hold them down, let go, and then click, and that has set the execute operation buttons to be M and O. Now, if I want to place this into the world, what I have to do is then while still holding the stick, navigate to mode number five, which is paste schematic into the world. If it's on any other mode, it won't work. So you want it to be mode five out of nine in the bottom left. And then to paste this into the world, you then press the buttons that you just assigned M and O and it will paste all of the blocks in. Look how great this is. We now have what we wanted in our new world. You guys may be wondering now, how do I get rid of the selection? Just press on M, click on loaded schematics, find the one that you have just loaded, press unload and that will get rid of the border around it. Also talking about selected areas, the area that we selected earlier, the only way to unselect this area to my knowledge is just by going to like another place, selecting it, covering it back over and then just forgetting about it. <laughs> That's the only way to unselect it to my knowledge. Uh, I'm terribly sorry, there's no better way to do it. One last super useful piece of advice that I'd give you guys is if you go back onto M, press configuration menu and then go onto render layers, change it to all below and press set here. You can then by left clicking and right clicking through this, you can change the layer that you're building. Now this is super, super helpful if you're building something that's quite complex and that you need sort of specific layers shown to you individually just to help how it's being built. And there we go, that's how to use Lightmatica. Thank you so much for watching. I really, really hope that you guys enjoyed. Again, if you want to download the schematics to any of my designs that I have featured in my videos, then make sure to check out my Patreon down in the description below. Also, there's no better time to set up a server for you and your friends to play on. And if you want to do that, then go down into the description and use my referral link to go to shopby.com to get your brand new 1.20 server and use code SALMONUP at checkout for 25% off your first month. Gets you an awesome server and it helps me out. What's more to love? Thank you all so much for watching. If this helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe. It greatly helps the video out, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace!